What is going on everyone? Tena here, and today we are going to be talking about the new meta with Nahida. You know, you always knew me as a Diluc main, right? But we had a lot of good characters that came out and eventually Diluc kind of got power crept. However, I found out a very interesting way of using Diluc with Nahida. Before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and what you think about Nahida so far. Let's get down to it right away. So the team comp that I'm recommending is going to be... We're gonna have Nahida, obviously. We're gonna be adding Diluc because I said I'm gonna be showcasing him, right? Objective? And then obviously we're gonna have to have either Yelan or Singchu. For those people who doesn't have Yelan, I'm gonna be using Singchu, but it would be better if you use Yelan. And then for the last character, we can probably use Kazuha if you want to do more damage with Pyro or Hydro. Or we could also be using Zhaon Li. When I was using Nahida, you know, she was kind of squishy, it felt like. Because when your character needs to stay in one place to do something, then there's a good chance that you can get one shot. Because we are lacking shielder or healer in this team right now, so Zonli would be a good addition. However, I would advise you to go for, you know, non-geo, non-animal characters, just because we get extra bonus for having Pyro, Hydro, or Electro for the Hida team. But in the showcase, I'm gonna be using Zonli first and then see how it goes. I'm gonna tell you how this team works. Nahida and Singchu, they're gonna be creating seeds. And then under the effect of Nahida's ult, Diluc is gonna be getting more EM. And especially when you're using five-star weapons, I believe that most of you guys have five-star claymores here and there. And then the characteristics of those claymores are that they have too much attack. That is why you definitely want to build your Diluc with EM sands. So that's how I built him. I'm letting you know that Nahida is using her best in slot weapon, so I am getting that 40 EM buff. Diluc has 227, he's supposed to have 187. Singchu also has some elemental mastery, and there is going to be Zhang Li. Okay, what would be the best rotation here? Hmm. Get the shield up, unleash Singchu's Q, and then create seed, use Diluc Q, and then that's how it's gonna work. Okay, 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 I got this. Do this. Nahida, take a picture. Yes! And then... Make more seeds. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god! And then afterwards, you can just clean them up. Like that. Okay, one downside. We need to make sure that Nahida has her ult so that we don't we don't screw up on the rotations. Okay, this team is actually very strong. But what if? We use Benet with the uh, Nilo's weapon. We have 4-piece Noblesse of Bleach, and he has 50k HP. He's got 47% crit rate with 99% critical damage, 140% energy recharge. I'm a little worried about that, but it should be fine. We have Diluc. How much EM you can get with all those buffs using Benet and Nahida on Diluc? Right now, Diluc has 227 Elemental Mastery. We're gonna have to take a look at the EM bonus after using E three times with Benet. And after that, we're gonna be using Nahida and use her Q and then swap back Diluc and take a look at his final EM bonus. Diluc, 327 EM. Let's do this. Do this. And then now, Diluc has 512 EM. So good thing about this is that because Nahida is a Catalyst user, she's not going to be affected by C6 Benet. So that's all good. Let's do this. That's two. Let's do this! Oh! My god, 20k bloom day on oh, no, the burgeon day, sorry. Make seeds. Yeah. 
Ooh, that hurts. Eh, eh. <laughs> okay, that is quite interesting. I like it. I like it. I don't know about you guys, but I like it a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> we found something. Okay, another thing though, because a lot of you guys are probably wondering, wait, can my Nahida do the same thing without the Besinsat weapon? So because of that, we might want to change this out with something else. We could be using Memory of Dust, but the way we use her, I don't think she's going to be great with anything that gives you attack. Anything that gives you EM would be really nice. So for example, Sacrificial Fragments, there's also Wandering Evening Star, but because we have Sacrificial Fragments, I'm gonna be using this because what if she can use E twice? And then this time, we're gonna be taking out Bennett because I didn't see too much about damage difference. So we're gonna put back Zhang Li. Get the Sing Q up. This Q. Heal the Q. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Rotation is perfect. We can use E twice. <laughs> that is entertaining. Oh. Mm, perfect. Anyways, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So, the point of this video is, I'm trying to get you pull for Nahida. I know that most of you guys had been waiting to pull for Nahida because she is the Lesser Kuznali. I would like to say that Nahida is, well, could be on par with Kazuha. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tenha. I stream Genshin Impact on twitch.tv forward slash Tenha. You can also follow me on twitter.com forward slash Tenha TV. You can also join my Discord server. Link in the video description down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.